Hi! So, as I may have mentioned in one of my previous videos, I've been growing my hair out to be in a dance show. And that's actually coming up so soon. It's three weeks away. So I thought I would do a little uh, inspire tutorial on stage makeup. So I'm just going to go through the way we do stage makeup, um, where I go to school. It's probably extremely similar to everywhere else, but we do have very specific things that we're asked to do in certain cases. So I'm just going to get started. So go ahead and wash your face. Um, during this time while you're doing shows, your face is going to be covered in makeup, it's going to be really sweaty, and so you're already, and then all the stress causes acne, so you're already doing a number on your face just by doing the things that you need to do. So try and be as gentle with your skin as possible. Um, maybe stay away from your toner or your astringent for the week. D make sure that you don't stop moisturizing. Um, just treat your skin as well as you can uh, or it will freak out on you for doing for putting that much makeup on it um, that consistently. You definitely want to stay away from a moisturizer that has sunscreen in it because sunscreen, while it's great and totally vital in your everyday makeup routine, um, it reflects light, obviously. Uh, so when you get on stage and you have all that stage light on you, it's going to reflect off the stuff that's in the sunscreen, which is sitting on your skin, and um, cause your face to look white. So really, really stay away from anything with sunblock in it, both your moisturizer and your makeup as well. So I'm going to start out with a primer, mostly because I didn't moisturize and you can't just start on dry skin. Um, if you're not a big fan of primer, I really don't think that you have to use it, but I think it helps a little bit. Okay, so when it comes to stage makeup, you want full foundation. Put it on there as thick as you can. You want it almost cakey. Um, nobody's going to be looking at you from up close. It's all about reading to the very back row. So just get yourself a really cheap uh, foundation. I think last year I used one that was like New York color and it was like three dollars for a bottle and it smelled like acrylic paint. <laughs> it's awful. Don't do that to your skin. But anyway, so put a decent size on your hand. Um, sometimes when I do foundation I rub it in with my fingers but um, for this you want lots and lots of control. So I'm using my Mary Kay foundation brush and just start spreading it out. You're really wanting to um, erase everything um, and then we're going to rebuild with contour and blush and highlight and all that kind of stuff and it's always slow going for me when I use the foundation brush um, but take as much time as you need okay yes I look ridiculous and yes my skin is hating me right now but we're going to go into the next step which is bronzer and blush. Now the OCU prescribed way of doing your blush is to do your blush not on the apples of your cheeks, but under the apples of your cheeks. And I find that every time you run the performance, someone always gets a note like, you need more blush, you need darker blush. And it's hard to find that literal brick red blush without looking like a skeleton. So what I like to do is do bronzer first as a contour and then do the blush on top of that. I'm no expert contour but um, I like the tip of using the number three so you're also going to contour on your forehead into that kind of number into that kind of roundish and along your chin to complete the bottom of the three. And notice how these are very clear lines on my face right now. We're going to blend it in a second. And next I'm going to use blush and do as I'm told and put the blush underneath. But see how that already creates such a darker look without being like crazy psycho red? And then I'm just going to stamp it a little on top because you do want to have color in the area of your cheeks where you naturally have color. And now I look like I'm wearing war paint, so I'm just going to take a big brush and blend it all. The other important aspect of contouring is doing the opposite, which is highlighting. Um, and I don't have a highlighting powder, because I just literally never highlight. 
but I'm using, uh, it's like a cream, what is this? Shimmering Facial Whip. It's like a cream blush that's intended to make you look dewy, so it's kind of shiny, super shiny. Um, and be very sparing with this because it will catch the light, and if you were to put it all over, it would be just like wearing sunblock where the light is caught and then your whole entire face is glowing. Um, but I'm going to put that on the little triangle here. And you can order this in the blush color or in just like a plain clearish color that's just for shimmer. But as you can see, it doesn't really uh, have a blush coloring to it, but it catches the light. I don't know if you can see on the video, you really can't, but mm. on the triangle there and then down the middle of your nose. And any other spots that would similarly catch light just by natural contouring, which I'm doing the top of my lip and cheekbones a little bit on my forehead. Um, if you want to use a setting powder or a setting spray, now would be a great time to do that. Um, Woohoo! I'm breaking up the big palette for eyes. I got this for Christmas a couple years ago and it's fun. I pretty rarely use it because it's so uh, weirdly specific, but um, whatever color family you're choosing, start with the lightest and go under your eyebrows. The colors that look best on stage are families of gray and um, purples. I think browns work too. You just want to stay away from like greens, blues, um, pinks, yellows. You're also going to do this lightest color on the inside of your eye. Okay, so the second lightest color goes all over the lid. Okay, I'm already starting to look scary, which I, that means I know I'm doing it right. So then you're going to take your third lightest, or your second darkest, and go in the crease. And then your very, very darkest, which for me is a true black in the outside corners. Go ahead and do eyeliner all the way around. I've just realized I don't have any black eyeliner left, so I'm gonna try to make do with this brown eyeliner. Okay, so that did not work well. Uh, it legitimately looks scary. I would actually probably pass on stage because no one's close enough to be able to tell, but I did go ahead and wing it, um, which I normally never ever do. I never wing my eyeliner because I have my eyes are the wrong shape for that kind of look. I just think it looks ridiculous on me. It looks great on other people. It doesn't look good on me. But on stage you want to be as over the top as possible so go ahead and wing your eyeliner. When it comes to mascara and eyelashes you are supposed to do false eyelashes but I literally hate them so much with a passion that I have found ways of getting around doing false eyelashes. First you curl and because it's warm in my apartment right now, my eyelash curler is not freezing cold, but if it's been sitting in your car or if it's just really cold, it's best to have it room temperature or warmer. So run it under some warm water, um, stick it in your bra while you're doing the first part of your makeup. It's like a curling iron. It's not gonna make any difference if it doesn't have um, a little bit of heat to it. And do one layer of the most volumizing mascara you can find and then here's the tip is to put powder on them before you do a second coat and I saw this on Pinterest of course and it was done with baby powder but I've also seen it with cornstarch and then add a second layer of mascara there we go truly terrifying if you're not afraid of fake lashes, please absolutely go for it. Me and fake lashes just don't get along. Eyebrows. You want them to match the intensity of your eye makeup. And 
And then finally, you have to have the signature OCU red lips. Check out my Taylor Swift lip tutorial because that is, that's it. Okay, so now that I have it all done and I look truly terrifying, I'm just ready to go on stage and cheese it up. If you're doing it for a stage um, thing or a Halloween costume or something like this where you just have to wear a lot of makeup, don't do it with your good makeup. Notice I didn't use my Mary Kay foundation for this. Don't do it with your expensive makeup because you're just piling it on and then just washing it off at the end of every night. So there you have it, a stage makeup tutorial. You can kind of do it in different levels depending on the situation. Like when we do costume runs in the studio, there aren't all those crazy lights on me, so I'm probably not going to do the face portion at all, but I would do the eyes and the lips. Um, but yeah, when you're on stage, you want as much face as possible. Thanks for watching, and best of luck with your makeup, and best of luck with your show. P.S. This is what it looks like when you get done taking it off. Ew, so much makeup. Gross.